Now I'm going to show you how to use your template to make your, your leaves and to start making your cabbages, which is really the fun part. So you need to cut out your pattern, which we both are providing on our blogs. And um, then you just use a pencil and trace it on a stack of your coffee filters that have been dyed and then you cut them out and you don't have to cut these out individually you can take a stack of several of them and cut them out and you'll find uh, you'll need a lot of leaves so this is the most efficient way to do it and um, you're going to want to cut a lot of green large green leaves and some small and medium green leaves and then out of the the pink you're going to do small and medium pink leaves and I can like to, when I'm cutting out the pink ones, arrange my template so that I can get three leaves out of each coffee filter just to maximize your coffee filter so you don't have to, you have less, less waste. And so you just cut those out, make you a bunch of those in varying colors and varying sizes. Again, large green and uh, medium and small green and then medium and small pink. So to get really realistic looking cabbages, what you want to do is dip your cabbage leaves in some paraffin wax. And we have ours here warming in our paraffin bath. And simply all you do is take one of your leaves one at a time and dip it into the wax. You'll want to make sure the wax is not too hot so it'll burn you. So we have ours actually on the warm temperature. And then just let it drip for a few seconds before you lay it on wax paper. Now I did want to just show you that the wax is completely melted here in um, the paraffin bath. So you, you definitely want it liquefied. And again, you can um, just want clear wax and then you take your your leaf and you dip it in there gently cover it completely then let the excess dip off and i like to hold it up for just a few seconds before i lay it down on the wax paper that way it'll be easier to peel up off the wax paper it will dry a little bit and i'm going to dip a green leaf And then I'm going to show you the fun part, the magic part that really makes it look realistic. So again, just dipping. And the side benefit is your hands get, your nails and your hands get really soft. So, you know, this is a great craft to do. Uh, and then go get a pedicure or a manicure. Actually, I guess you'd get a manicure. You're not doing this with your toes. So once you've dipped the leaves, then you're going to peel them up off your your wax paper and you'll see the the texture of it uh, you know it, it completely changes it and then you want to just wad it up to give the your cabbage leaves some veining and peel those and then you you can really manipulate these as you're attaching them to your cabbage and it just gives it a much more realistic look so just have fun wadding it up and um, we'll show you how, how you finish your cabbages. So to start making your cabbages, you need a center that we've made out of newspaper. Just wadded up ball of newspaper. To make one this size, which I guess is about two and a half inches, three inches, um, I used three half sheets of newspaper, wadded it up, and then you use masking tape just to hold the shape. You don't have to cover it completely with masking tape. And then here comes the fun part. You, you use your medium sized green leaves and you're going to want to cover the whole ball with, um, with the leaves. And so I've used a little bit of hot glue and I'm just adding that to the top. Be careful that you don't burn yourselves yourself uh you know what it's like working with hot glue so you just cover these and you they don't have to you actually don't want it completely glued down because 
this is the center of your cabbage and you want to you'll see part of this although a lot of it will be covered and so you just keep adding the glue um, and gluing down Cover. now you'll if you'll remember we were um, covering our newspaper ball with cabbage leaves and you do want to go and really particularly on the top add some some pink because the cabbage is going you're working from the inside out and it's going from pink to green so I've covered the the top with some pink and I'm just going to start layering some leaves of different color and size on the outside and um, it, you know there's really no rules it, this is all personal preference and you're just building and you know you you may want to glue more towards the bottom um, and as you use green leaves you'll probably want to use the lighter green towards on the inside and as you'll see I'm gluing some down lower and I'm gonna just go with a medium sized pink one and the first time we made these we made them with a group of people and uh, everybody was saying mine, does mine look okay does mine look okay really try not to second guess yourself at this point you're you're building it's layer upon layer and trust me as you start particularly as you start adding those um, outer leaves you're really going to get the look of a cabbage and uh, now you'll notice towards the center we are adding unwaxed leaves it's not until you get to the outside of your cabbage that you'll start adding the waxed ones that really look uh, like real leaves i'm sitting here thinking i need some cabbage or a salad for for lunch uh yeah don't do this craft on an empty stomach i'm gonna put a little more green over here and then you know i think i might start grabbing some of my waxed leaves and um I'm going to take some, start with some of the medium sized ones first. And you just hot glue these like you do the others. Um, you know, lighter colors probably towards the center and just build it up, build it up. And um, I'm going to keep adding leaves okay. so I'm just continuing to add leaves to my cabbage um, you, you may want to use a low melt glue gun I'm finding that as well for two reasons uh, to protect your hands and then also um, with the paraffin, the glue just seems to do better if you let it cool just a bit before you add the, the leaves. And then you keep building, building, building. Um, you know, and you may want to add more glue to hold a leaf in place and I'm going to continue to add. Now as you can see we have added more leaves to the outside of our cabbage just to give it more dimension and as I said earlier try not to second guess yourself when you're working on this craft as you as you build your cabbage it's going to start looking more realistic and then when you get it to the fullness that you think you want um, you can always come back in 
and add more leaves to the center. You'll see I've done that here so that it's almost like the center part. It has not opened up yet and then the leaves are slowly opening and really all you do to work those in is just put a little dot of glue on your leaf whoops, and just work it work it in and I'm gonna set this down and hopefully I'm not obscuring your view too much you know and you just bend things and work it and look at your cabbage and um, talk to your cabbage <laughs> you know you're supposed to talk to plants to make them grow um, and then you just keep working on it till it looks the way you want it to look until it's the size that you want it to be and then um, at the end you may and here's a little trick too as you're working on it you may want to lay your cabbage face down and add the outer leaves that way um, I kind of like that you'll protect your hands a little bit although I kind of like to see what it looks like as I'm as I'm working on it so I'm going to just add a few more leaves here to the outside the darker leaves although really it's just personal preference um, and I'll probably add some glue up to the top so it won't be so so floppy either and looks like this one needs some glue there towards the top and then as a final step particularly since our paraffin um, it has proven to be a little bit challenging with with the hot glue I think it's because this was actually scented paraffin I think if you use unscented and that's what we used the first time we made these unscented candle wax you won't have an issue with it sticking or you won't have to hold it as much as I've had to here but um, you may just want to take an unwaxed coffee filter or leaf this one was not even and glue that down just to to hold everything in place and I'm gonna add some glue around the edges and that just that'll actually also protect any furniture that you are setting this on so you don't get any um, wax on it and you just hold that be careful of your fingers that you don't burn yourself a good tip when you're hot gluing is to have a glass of ice water beside you so if you burn your fingers you can uh, immediately plunge your fingers into the ice water and relieve that burn and again I think your kids could probably help you with part of this craft they would love to to dye the um the coffee filters but this is an adults only part <laughs> here because of the hot glue and obviously I've had this sitting down so I'm gonna need to to fluff it a bit but I think this looks like a I think this looks like a cabbage <laughs>